Hey guys, I'm Matt Ross and you're watching the 11th official episode of 24 7 365. Stay tuned because today's episode is fire. Not only do we tell you how to get real results, but you hear from someone who has been featured in Men's Off on how to do so. It all boils down to a single sentence and that is what gets measured gets managed. To give you an idea, over the last few years, in these books here, these journals, I have been tracking every single thing that I eat, that I drink, and every single training session I have done. Because by tracking that, I can see, okay, on this day I ate high levels of protein, high level of vegetables, high level of legumes, and low levels of uh, carbs, and I've done that for a week, and therefore I have had fat loss, or weight loss, or whatever. So by tracking something, or by measuring something, that being the, the fat loss goal gets managed. And that is the point of this, is that instead of leaving it to this open-ended, oh, I feel good, therefore I'm making progress, or oh, I'm feeling bad, so I'm not making progress, it's so important to be able to track whatever it is that you're tracking, it's important to be able to track something to see whether or not you're actually making real, real progress. If you wanna know whether or not you're succeeding or failing, is you need to choose something to track. If you wanna track Instagram followers, you want lots of, uh, of followers then you need to track on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis and see okay cool I've gone up by a hundred or I've gone up by a thousand and then you can make changes you're like okay maybe I need to post more frequently or whatever it is so that's all that I'm saying is you need to choose something to track you need to choose something to measure and then you need to manage it I'm starting a new thing where I'm like calling and I'm speaking to people that I know who have gone into a place where I want to be and where you guys at home might like to be. And the very, very first person to break the virginity of this is a good friend of mine, Armand. He was featured, uh, he's one of the finalists in the 2016 Men's Health cover search. Um, and I've got him to film something on his phone and send it through to us so that you guys can get added value. I'm gonna be smashing this into your guys' faces. You're gonna get so much freaking like value from this. Uh, I'm gonna do this for a number of people across the industry. But uh, this was the cover, 2016. And that over there is my boy, Armand, and uh, I'm just gonna head straight to the video. He's gonna tell you how he got featured in Men's Health and how you guys can too. I feel really honored and grateful to be able to do this for you guys today. I've been asked to share my top three tips that I discovered in my journey in the Men's Health Cover Guy competition for 2016. So number one is you have to be able to add value. Brands are looking for individuals who stand out from the crowd, who go against the norm. That is the most important thing. They want to see a guy who's not like the 99 percenters around him, but he rather steps up to the plate. He's able to elevate himself and therefore elevate those around him and therefore elevate a brand. Move them forward. A natural born leader, so to speak. You've got to have confidence in yourself. You've got to have self-belief. If you don't believe it, who else will? Brands are also going to look at the way in which you maintain your social media profiles. Those cannot be a facade, number one. Number two is they've got to be clean. They've got to be professional. And they've got to be relatable. You know, you, you can't be that kind of person who everything is perfect for. And you put yourself on that pedestal without even knowing it. Trust me, I went through this process where it's like you become disconnected from the people who are actually watching you because they just can't relate. So they get despondent. They actually, you actually start to make them feel bad, funny enough. So that's number one, adding value, propelling a brand and elevating it. Number two is making everything you do a lifestyle. So whatever training you do, whatever sporting codes you participate in, it does not matter. You don't have to be a Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You don't have to be a Kevin Hart and you don't have to be a Justin Bieber. These guys have graced the cover of Men's Health, but you don't need to be those guys. You need to possess certain qualities and characteristics of those men, but you don't need to be them on that large scale. So whatever it is that you do, it's got to embody your principles, your values, and then you'll have no problem. The reason why that also has to be relatable is again, it's men's health. It's not necessarily your muscle evolution or bodybuilding magazine or just something that people look at and it's surreal because again, they'll look at it and they'll feel, I'll never be able to get to that level and they'll feel bad about themselves. 
people are tricky you've got to just see what they like and people like people who are like themselves bottom line all right so number three is you have to write a compelling story now this is probably the most important of all and the problem is that it takes time we don't like time nowadays time is not our friend we want instant gratification you need to give time time you need to give your gift time to grow this is what I discovered. I fell short of my goal of winning the cover guy search. I didn't grace the cover and it really hurts. I started this journey in 2012 and I thought, you know, I'd worked with the brand before and I had done everything that I'm telling you guys to do now and it just didn't work out for me and I couldn't quite put my finger on it. But once I got to know the guys, once I understood the winner and why he won I mean I'll never really know why but the differences that I saw is that he had a really compelling story one where life had knocked him down and kicked him while he was down and he literally got back up and was like I don't know who you've been dealing with life but you haven't dealt with me you know it doesn't matter how much he got hit just as long as he got hit and he kept moving forward and that is the thing. People love a good story. People love a story that evokes passion and emotion, brevity, and it just inspires them deep within their core. And that's what this guy brought. He was relatable and he brought that to the table. So looking back, I see that and I think to myself, I just need to give my gift time to grow. I just need to give my gift time to mature. And if I keep doing it, I may not win immediately, but I will win definitely. So take, take that with you, with whatever your endeavors are that you face in life, or whatever successes you're chasing. And trust me, as long as you have that attitude and you say, I'm a winner, you'll come out on top.